A Virginia Beach family is preparing to close the chapter on a decades-old mystery. Wilbur Mitz grew up near Monterey, California. He joined the Navy shortly after high school and went to radio school here in Norfolk. His final mission took him overseas during World War II. 79 years later, thanks to those who never gave up, he's finally coming home. The department deeply regrets to inform you that your son, Wilbur Archie Mitz, Aviation Radio Man First Class USN, is missing following action while in the service of his country. You know, most of us know what it's like to lose somebody in our lives. Um, it's tragic, but it's different than when somebody goes missing in action. They have dealt with the dark, ambiguous loss of their loved one for decades. A loss with more questions than answers. And it's unfortunate that everybody that's still alive today never got a chance to meet him. Trying to fill in the pieces through photographs and letters. All of them are to his mom, and this is his last letter. His last letter before his final mission during World War II. They were carrying 500 pound uh, bombs, so they would just drop the bombs. While Wilbur Mitz and his crewmates were flying, there was heavy enemy fire near the island of Palau. Their plane was shot down at 5,000 feet. They found different parts of the aircraft on land, but they couldn't find the fuselage where the crew was. They couldn't find it until crews who worked tirelessly to bring MIA's home stepped in. And then these are the sonars that, that look at the seafloor uh, looking for the aircraft that, that, uh, that have MIA's. Project Recover is made up of several team members who each bring their own expertise to these missions. This goes about 100 meters, 300 feet down. And then we have a camera module so if we do find something, we can fly over it and take pictures. Uh, we're going deeper in the water than we've ever gone before, uh, but there's still a lot of ocean to cover. A lot to cover, and as many as 5 million family members waiting for answers. It really motivates you to get back out into that, you know, what, muddy jungle or those deep waters or whatever it happens to be and, and provide more answers to more families across our nation. And for me, it's, it's uh, you know, keeps, keeps us active, keeps us innovating. At the same time, we're, we're helping the community. Healing wounds of these wars and changing lives, all thanks to those who've never stopped searching. You know, we want to bring these service members home because it's a promise that we made to them and their families. Where he explains to his mom. Also a promise kept by one brave soldier who's finally coming home. You just remember, I said I'll be back in one way or another, I'll be back. A Virginia Beach family is learning more about their great uncle who went missing in action during World War II. Wilbur Mitz was the radio man assigned to Navy Torpedo Squadron 20 on the USS Enterprise in 1944. On September 10th of that year, the team took off to conduct airstrikes against enemy targets in the Palau Islands. That was Wilbur's final mission. And your side's Amy Avery joins us now with the last letter home. Amy? Well, Tom, a few days before that last mission, Wilbur wrote his last letter home to his mom, telling her not to worry because he'd be back someday. And thanks to groups like Project Recover, who are dedicated to finding these missing Americans, that someday has come for Wilbur's family. In the southwest Pacific, 500 miles from the Philippines, are the Palau's, westernmost of the Japanese-mandated islands. We must seize it to protect our invasion of the Philippines. We used to hear stories about 100 planes went out and only 99 came back. Navy planes from fast carrier forces strike first. We spent at least two decades trying to find that site. But the final resting spot's about probably around here. put those puzzles together and you get it right, you can have a major impact on someone's family. All of them are to his mom, and this is his last letter. Please don't worry, just remember, I said I'll be back one day. So that's the pilot, this is my uncle. 24-year-old Wilbur Mitz grew up in Seaside, California. He's a radio man, so he's gonna be at the base. His great niece Tasha and nephews, Brandon and Shane, have learned a lot about Uncle Wilbur through letters and piecing his life together through photographs. He was a great boxer. I forget the number, but 100 and something fights. I think he 
got knocked down twice. Wilbur joined the Navy right out of high school and went to radio school in Norfolk. We always heard great stories about how he was as a person. And it's unfortunate that everybody that's still alive today never got a chance to meet him. He was like a family hero. You know, everybody looked up. You know, he was the uncle that served that, that never came home. Following the war, the American Graves Registration Service conducted several searches for the plane. Investigators never found any evidence of Mitts, his crewmates, or the TBM Avenger they were flying. That is until Project Recover stepped in. Um, the wreckage is actually spread out over quite a bit of area on both land and water. Derek Abbey was originally with Bent Prop Project and remembers in 2003 when they started finding parts of the plane. It wasn't until years later when they combined efforts with another MIA group with underwater capabilities that they found the rest of it. Mark Moline was on that mission. Obviously there was a, a wreckage there. It was all this, these pieces that are straight and that kind of thing, which don't happen in nature. We knew it was something, so we dove on it. It turned out to be the site. We're looking on the inside of it. And once they find it, they call in experts from the Defense Prisoner of War MIA Accounting Agency and their partner agencies to carefully extract the remains and identify them. And then we can use a family reference sample that is provided by the families, then match the sequences to those individuals. It was my uncle who big contributor because he is descent of, you know, his mother. And we're one of the lucky ones to get to bring him home. And although only the ocean holds answers as to what happened that day, it also held Wilbur's promise to make it home. You just remember, I said, I'll be back. In one way or another, I'll be back. And that's for sure. I just know I'm sure, I'm a sure bet to be back. That hit me where he is, he's coming home.